Hey folks, thanks for joining us here today at uh, the shop at Henco. Uh, one of the goals we want to talk about today is on-off valves, uh, air actuators and valve bodies. Uh, what you see laid out before us here, we've got a hypertherm style, we've got some flow um, style on-off valves, OMAX and KMT. And what we really want to talk about is how no matter what brand or style water jet you use, uh, the valve bodies and air actuators all work and basically act in the same fashion. So really what we're trying to cover here today is on-off valve theory. So regardless of what brand you use, at the cutting head, what we have is an air actuator. Uh, these are in the normally closed position, which basically these devices have springs inside of them that push against a piston that you can see here. Uh, and quite frankly, that piston will then push down and engage with the needle inside of your on-off valve kit. The other thing we want to look at is every one of these are a valve body uh, from, different from different manufacturers, excuse me. Each one of these basically act in the same capacity where water is going to uh, come in. There's a spot for the water to come in. Uh, there's a spot for the air actuator uh, to engage. Uh, and then there's a spot for the water to head south towards the cutting head, let it be abrasive or water only. All right, as you can see here, Henco uh, offers a variety of uh, on-off valve kits uh, for all the different uh, style on-off valves. What's interesting is all of these valves in the kits, uh, specifically the on-off valve repair kits, come with this very similar components. They come with a needle, a seat, some sort of bearing or bushing, and then also a high pressure seal. If we think about these components, the high pressure seal sits on the north side of the valve body and basically stops the water from traveling north or upwards into the air actuator, okay? Then you got the needle. The needle basically is being pushed down in the off position, uh, the normally closed position, uh, basically pushing that needle down into the seat. The seat basically being a hockey puck, for lack of a better term, with a hole through the center. Uh, the bushing or the bearings job is to basically align that needle to make sure that it perfectly hits the center of that seat. Um, so one of the things we want to look at in one of the valves that I like uh, to demonstrate uh, is the KMT style valve body. If you see here the KMT st uh, style valve body basically has a thread on the top for the normally closed air actuator. It also has the inlet for where the water comes in, and then basically another spot for where the down tube, uh, again, let it be an abrasive or a water only cutting head. But one thing I like to demonstrate is it's got three weep holes. If you think about it, the top weep hole is going to be when your seal leaks. So if we get water coming out of that top weep hole, we know that the seal or the O-ring has failed, thus water coming out here. Uh, in this style valve body, uh, it's a hard plumb of the high pressure line directly into the valve body. So if we get a leak coming out of this weep hole, we know that it is a uh, bad connection at the valve body. Let it be the tubing or uh, the valve itself. The bottom weep hole, I would say, is probably the least likely to fail. And this is basically the weep hole for the connection between the valve body, the seat, and or your down tube or your adapter uh, here. Okay, so if we think about it, you look at any of these valve bodies, we're going to have different weep holes. Here's a flow insta one. We've got the top weep hole. In this design here, it is more of a collar design where the high pressure line and the cone is making the uh, connection at the actual valve body. So instead of being a weep hole, you're going to see leaking coming in or around um, your high pressure collar. And then again, we got the weep hole here. So when we think about uh, on-off valves in their failure modes, the most common failure is your needle and seat. When you think about uh, any of these valves, water is typically always going to be inside the valve body when your pump is on, with water all the way around that needle and seat. With the seat plugged, water should not be coming out of the cutting head. So when we get a drip past the needle and seat, what you're gonna see is water dripping out of your water only cutting head or out of the nozzle of your cutting head. Probably the most common failure. Uh, second most common failure is probably gonna be at the inlet connection. Um, let it be, you, didn't, you know, tighten it down hard enough, the, uh, the tubing uh, uh, or high pressure line isn't, you know, uh, perfect. 
and or uh, the inlet cone where you're making the connection is having an issue, I would say is another common one. And then uh, third is probably going to be that top weep hole uh, where you have a seal failure. And then probably the least common is going to be that bottom weep hole in any of these valve bodies where again, that um, seat, valve body, and down tube are making that connection. Um, so again, uh, stay tuned for future videos for your unique design. We're gonna be shooting uh, repair videos. But again, this is just a general overview of how all on-off valves, including valve kits, operate in very similar capacities. Hope this helps. If you guys have any questions or individual uh, needs, give us a shout at 1-833-4-HENCO.